You can walk anyhow. You can run anyhow. The only way under heavens you can fly is by taking instructions. No matter how old or how experienced a captain is, there is what is called periodic refresher course to keep them adept with modern technology, modern development. Eh? But most importantly, a captain cannot fly from A to Z without instructions. He can't close his eyes. Ah, no, no, no. You can, you can just walk. No, no, no. The only way to fly is by taking instructions. So if you want a walking destiny, you can walk anyhow. If you want a running destiny, you can run anyhow. But if you want an ego flight break for this year, the only way is by what? Taking instructions. You are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you and the message coming right up is crafted by heaven not just to challenge you but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, Join me and receive God's word through his choice vessel, Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Kabo Sekete Regete. Jude 120. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Roger home and abroad. Release your prayer language. Speak mysteries. He that speaks in tongues speaks mystery. Don't hold back. Let the well be broken, let the dam be broken. Out of my belly rivers of living water. Come on, Roger. You are a house of prayer, a house of revival. Don't keep quiet. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Three minutes, open fire. Open fire. Speak into your future. Into your destiny. Speak into your future. Into your destiny. When you don't know how to pray. What to pray. I tell you what. Confuse the devil. Scramble the devil's mystery. Shut down the antics of the enemy by speaking the mysteries. As the Lord to baptize you afresh with fire. 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 Set me ablaze for my generation. Fire. He makes his angels spirits. His ministers fire. Flames of fire. One more minute. Pray like a prayer. Pray like a prayer. Pray like a prayer. When you become prayer, you pray like a prayer. And the embodiment of prayer, you become prayer. I said pray like a prayer. Ganone, sapara, tapakata. Confuse the enemy. Sibala mene 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 mene. Send ambushment to the camp of the wicked. Enough is enough. You've been down and out for too long. Not this year. Now to the camp of the enemy. This is your year of breaking forth. Ay, 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 ay. Shabo, para. 30 more seconds. Home and abroad. Online, on site. It's your moment. You can become what you want to become. And let the devil give you a migraine. I refuse. Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. Break out. 
Break up. Woo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Break up. Break up. Ah, yeah, yeah. Break out. Hey. Shomatiki ferotu kuba. Legede sokotoba. Jesus said, you made my father's house a house, a den of thieves and robbers. My father's house ought to be a house of music, uh, of excellence, of singing, of dancing, evangelism, organization. No, sir. The primary mission of his house is to be a house of prayer for all nations. And if you don't want to subscribe to the main thing of his house, you may not be his child after all. Because in school, there is what is called the elective courses. You may fail an elective and still get a degree but you dare not mess around with the main course and prayer is a very very major cause not just it's a major cause you know revival broke out in the first century church and the devil tried to outsmart the church tried to bring the cares and the busyness of serving tables what you're eating, what you're wearing. And the whole idea is to lure them from the main thing. But they outsmarted the devil. Said, yes, we'll care for the people, but we'll not be shortchanged by leaving the main thing. So a system was set to care for the people. And the Bible says, they gave themselves, Acts 4, to the ministry of the word and to prayer guess what revival boom hear me if you let the devil tamper with two things in your life you're gone not a curse it's a reality tamper with your prayer life you're going tamper with your war study you're disappearing it's not a curse it is true Be excellent, be smart, be beautiful, have decorum, have diction, but your prayer life and your one life, you're going. And these are, two, these are two, the main areas of attack of the enemy in the lives of believers. But we will not be outsmarted again. Amen. I thought I hear believing amen. amen. We will not be outsmarted again. Say, I will pray. I will, pray. I will read my Bible. Jude 120 AMPC and we'll run along this morning. The journey is quite far. Thank you, HOG. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Can you clap for this amazing choir? Amazing choir. I just love them. Getting better every day. With blessing to this church and to the nations. All right, you will be seated shortly, but let's remain standing to honor Jesus. Jude 1 20 to 21. We will read from the AMPC. And then a companion text of James 5.16 and all will be from the AMPC. Jude 120, let's go together as a family. One, two, three, go. But you, beloved, build yourselves up, founded on your most holy faith, make progress, rise like an edifice, higher and higher. Why? Praying in the Holy Spirit, God, and keep yourselves in the love of God, expect and patiently wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, which will bring you unto life eternal. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. All right, James 5, 16, 1, 2, 3, go. Confess to one another, therefore your faults, your slips, your false steps your offenses your sins and pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored 
to a spiritual tone of mind and the heart. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. <laughs> Look at that. The earnest, heartfelt, continued, are you there? Prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available that dynamic in its walking from the assignment this morning generating spiritual power for break forth in the place of prayer part number one generating spiritual power for break forth in the place of prayer part number one our Father and our God, it is truly unto you and you alone we're gathered today. I beseech you to take a coal on fire from the altar of heaven. Place upon the lips, the tongues of clay of your seven son that today I will come to your people with nothing but a thus saith the Lord. Move every man, boy, girl under the sound of my voice. And for those who will listen to this in days, weeks, months to come through the multimedia. From where we are to the place called destiny. Let devils be terrified and let Jesus alone be glorified when all is said and done. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout a big amen. Whilst you're seated, tell your neighbor it's time to generate spiritual power. Hallelujah. You do well to be in church on Wednesday. I will continue by the grace of God. Uh, this flow of thought since here we are in this amazing and exciting prophetic year of break forth 2024 the lord has been gracious to bring us not into a new year by way of a gregorian calendar only but to bring us into a new season by way of his prophetic calendar and agenda for us as an apostolic house and a prophetic company just like i mentioned last sunday in the course of my teaching it will not surprise me what god will do next in your life as a matter of fact i believe that somebody under the sound of my voice your break forth 2024 testimony is loading your amen needs some revival. It's lacking of vitamin C and vitamin D. Can somebody shout a big amen? amen. Let me declare again that your break forth 2024 testimony is loading amen. and is about to explode. Amen. Hallelujah. Already we're beginning to record great, amazing testimonies of the mighty deeds of Abba Father in the midst of his people. As the gentleman testified a moment ago, that of a truth, God is in this house. Even a bat that is blind knows that God is with us. Hallelujah. You can feel him. You can touch him. I don't know about you, but I sense God not only in this facility, but in the environment. Something about this ground that is hollow. You can feel him. From the gate, literally, you can get your miracle. So much that God is in this house. Jacob said, God was here. I knew it not, but listen, I know it by revelation, just, but also by experience of diverse encounters. I know that God is in our midst. The Bible says, The Lord in our midst is mighty, is mighty, the mighty. The king in our midst is mighty. And he said, because he's with us, he will become the wall of fire round about us. He will be the glory in our midst. Can I announce to you whether you feel it or not, you are not alone. <laughs> they are more with you than they that can possibly attempt to gang up with you. You are carrying overload. Ah, yeah. First John 4 says, greater is he that is in you than every demonic force in the world. Somebody said, I'm carrying the greater one within me. I did not hear you. Is it the fasting? 
open your mouth like fire. I am carrying the greater one within me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints, it is important for us in these early moments of the year to challenge ourselves on the need to take responsibility for break forth if it's going to be your reality and your experience. I said last Sunday that at the end of this year, there will be simply only two categories of people. One, those who will be laughing, rejoicing, because break forth was not a mantra for them. It wasn't a motivational cliche that was coined up by some past somewhere. No, it was a prophetic word God spoke to them. But guess what? They walk the prophecy and they are laughing because of the manifestation and the reality of basking in breaking forth. But the other category, unfortunately, is this. Those who will be crying, why would they cry? They see that if they did what others did, they would have been enjoying the experience. You know, God said to Cain, why are you crying? If you do well, your offering will be accepted. If you don't do well, it will not be. So you're jealous of Abel, your twin brother. But you don't know. Abel did well and honored me, but you fail to do like him. So you kill him out of envy and jealousy. May you not look for those who will be in break forth to try to kill them because you fail to do well. Say, I will do well. I said, say, I will do well. Hallelujah. 2024 is a year of divine instructions. It is a year where we are expected by God to take heed to commandments from the Lord commandments from the law you've heard me say over and over again uh, it may sound repetitive but it needs to get into your spirit all right you can walk anyhow you can run anyhow the only way under heavens you can fly is by taking heed to instructions no matter how old or how experienced a captain is there is what is called periodic refresher course to keep them adept with modern technology, modern developments. Eh? But most importantly, a captain cannot fly from A to Z without instructions. He can't close eyes. And have, no, no, no. You, you, you can just walk. No, 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 no. The only way to fly is by taking the heed to what? So if you want a walking destiny, you can walk anyhow. If you want a running destiny, you can run anyhow. But if you want an ego flight break forth this year. The only way is by what? Taking heed to what? Instructions. Instructions. It is obedience to divine instructions that delivers a man from pending destruction. God is not wicked. But you see, the safest place to be is to be where he led you to. If you locate what God has blessed, who God has blessed and you enjoy yourself listen you are blessed automatically but I find believers knocking their head over and over and over on a wall one year two years it's not working it's not moving ask yourself am I in the right place am I doing the right thing so it's a year of instructions John 2 was very instructive in this principle Jesus, invited to the wedding of Cana of Galilee, was asked or was told the wine ran out and they needed him to bail out what could have been a shameful ending of the wedding ceremony. And then Mary said to the disciples, please listen carefully, whatever he tells you to do, just do it. Just do it. John 2, 5, NKJV. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you to do, do it. All right. And then look at the results of their obedience in John 2, 11. It reads us, NKJV. This beginning of signs 
Jesus did in Cana of Galilee, guess what? And manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. If you're going to make this year a year to walk in signs, higher, a year of wonders, a year of miracles, the way there is to find out what God is saying by way of instructions, as Nike will say in their motto, just do it. Just do it. In doing it guarantees result. And your obedience is only acceptable by God when number one, it is prompt. Number two, it's complete. When your obedience is partial, is disobedience, at least in the eyes of God. When your obedience is delayed, as far as your God is concerned, it is disobedience. So the way to obey God is prompt and fully, completely. May you be prompt to respond to the leadings, the dealings, and the steerings of God in this year. It will, it will, it will bail you out of, of pending trouble and destructions. It will keep you in the place of safety and the place of walking in the continual flow of the blessing of God. Why? His blessing is where he leads. Are you here? So complete and then prompt. Saints, it is dangerous to pick and choose what you will obey. All right. As long as you've subscribed to be a member of this great house, <laughs> you can't choose what you like to obey. You like the prophecy, but don't like the instruction. They don't go together. It negates the prophecy. You know, there's a way a prophet will come, you say, oh, amen. But when we are told what we need to do to see the result of the prophecy, amen. Hmm. See, God's instructions oftentimes don't come with explanations. I'm being very slow this morning and deliberate because I want your spirit to get pregnant with these words. God's instructions, more often than not, are not accompanied by explanation. Listen carefully. God does not owe you an explanation for the instruction he gave you. Hmm. And I think he does that so that anyone who will obey God will obey him not because he has been explained to what will happen if you obey but you obey number one because you love him number two you trust him number three you are obeying by faith wow you love him you trust him you're obeying by it doesn't make sense it makes god man you see Obedience birth ridiculous miracles in a man's life. Initially, it may not be rational, but by the time you obey and the results show, you'll be thankful you obeyed when there was no explanation. Are you here? Hmm. Look at the typical case study of a man called Abraham. In Genesis 12, 1, you know the story? God asked Abraham, leave father and mother to a place he will show him. 12, 1. NKJV, Genesis. Now the Lord had said to Abram, get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, see, sir, to a land that I have shown you, no, that I will show you. Who is asking me to live Lagos and I don't know where I'm going to how but as he obeyed to depart it was in the going that led to the showing oh boy oh I, I, I just pray I know you like to jump and shout but let, let's let's talk 
it is in the obedience that more light came to know what next step to take God gives you a word listen carefully and gives you just enough light to take the first step eh? when you obey in taking the first step guess what he will give you more light are you here oh boy all right he says i will show you now look at his obedience his response to the word genesis 12 verse 4 so abram departed what has he felt like no sir as the lord had spoken to him my god and the lord went with him i call him an attache attachment and it's okay to attach yourself to a blessed man because it will flow into your life praise god and lord went with him and Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from here. Listen carefully. It's never too late to obey God per se. You're not too old and you're not too young to obey him. 75. Moses got a call at 80. Look at the result of prompt and complete obedience in Genesis 13 verse 1. Are you here? Give me three fire baptized hallelujahs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If your hands are working, clap them for Jesus. I said for Jesus. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the risen Messiah, the one who works in you, causing you to will and to do of his good pleasure. Your helper, your strengthener, your shield, your buckler, your comforter, your lover. And you clap for Jesus now clap for the Holy Ghost clap for the intercessor for your comforter for the advocate advocate your helper can you clap for your teacher can you celebrate Abba father or oh, the source of everything that is good somebody celebrate somebody celebrate not tolerate celebrate God the Son God the Holy Ghost God the Father Lord we love you because you first loved us hallelujah look at the result Genesis 13 1 and 2 then Abraham went up from Egypt he and his wife and all that he had and lot with him that's the attache again there to the south hear this beloved Abraham was what? Woo! Not just rich son. Huh? Abraham was what? Very rich. In what? In livestock. In what? In silver. In what? In gold. In my mind, this is all round prosperity. Bodily prosperity. Livestock. In his mind, in his soul, he was prosperous. Silver, in his spirit, gold, he was prosperous. Hallelujah. God's desire is to bring you in this year to the realm of shalom. Where nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is, that means every area of your life is designed to work. Your home, your marriage, your family, your business, health, everywhere. That is revival at the best where everything is working. So when you appear, you become, you become an ambassador of Christ. Say, see what the Lord has done. Hiya. May God do amazing things in your life that will draw people to your Jesus. You'll be saying, come and see. Come to GBEC and see. Come and partake of my God who has changed my story. If the truth be told, our lives have been changed in seven years. Everyone, we are not where we were when we joined here. Why? It's a moving train. Taking us from grace to grace. 
glory to glory. And the good news is, this year's level of glory is a whole new level. Your life is about to become a wonder to even you. Your amen needs some vitamin C. Some nutrients are lacking in your amen. Can you give me a vitalized fortified amen? Mm. Very rich. Not just rich. In cattle. In silver. In gold. What? What happened? He had a word. He obeyed the word. And he became. <laughs> so, kingdom prosperity is not what you chase. Sir, it is what chases you when you chase God. I don't look for money, sir. One of my favorite prosperity scriptures is Matthew 6.33. Seek first the kingdom of God. And what? His righteousness, his ways of doing things. If you are rightly poised and positioned, guess what? Habba. The things unbelievers are killing for, it will be pursuing you. I said pursue, sir. It's a misnomer for a kid to be chasing money. You will not be in church on Wednesday, you're chasing money. Sunday, you have a meeting from presidency, you're right now chasing money. Haba. If you chase money and you think you found money, you don't have power to keep money. No, sir. Power. Money is a spirit, sir. Nobody living can. You can't trap money. Bible says the money makes itself wings. It's a spirit. It will mess a man up. Wings. And then flies toward heaven. So those who are heaven minded, their position is flying to them. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. Guess what? If he's in front of you, leading as a shepherd, he said, I shall not want. Why would you want? You're following the shepherd. <laughs> following the shepherd guarantees some things follow you. What? Verse 6. Surely. No guess what, sir. Not, not gimmick, not tricks. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall what? Follow you. Who you follow determines who follows you, sir. The company you keep determines what accompanies you. Watch your company. Watch who you're following. And then what is following you will be determined there. Please, determine in this year to follow Jesus. As they say in Nigerian parlance, mumushously. When people laugh at you, ah, ah, they've confused you again. You too. You fell for that trick. Say, follow Mumushiously. What he demands for you to lay down by way of sacrifice in a hurry lay down. Why? The one who demanded, he says, the cattle upon the thousand hills, there he is. <laughs> what is demanded from you, he gave you in the first place. Who could have produced a miracle called Isaac? 25 years. God. Womb of Sarah dead. Spam gone on Abraham. But God produced that miracle from a dead loin, from a dead womb. But Isaac came forth. So God placed a demand for the miracle produced from Abraham to check his love, to titrate whether his love has changed. Ah. But says, and the next day, Abraham took his journey for three days to Mount Moriah. As he made to sacrifice Isaac, God said, Stop it! Now I know. It's okay. So he didn't know before. Now I know you love me. <laughs> you proven your love for me more than your son. And for the first time in documented Bible history, story, it, it was said, And God swore, In blessing, I will bless you. Hey. May you obey God to the degree he releases over you a sworn blessing. You know what a sworn blessing is? You can't escape it, Yusuke. You've bust into God. You've tied him. 
when God speaks a sworn blessing over you it's not over you alone it's over your generation a sworn blessing provoked by solid rugged dotted obedience you want the blessing we sing Abraham blessings are mine sing Abraham's obedience is mine too <laughs> we, we fool ourselves with one break forth to fast mba, to pray to give to obey but things are changing this morning for somebody I said they're changing your obedience will be prompt it will be complete in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I want to once again recommend highly Sunday's message and Wednesday's message, part one, part two, to bless you tremendously. I've heard Sunday about four times myself. It's just too many nuggets that are keys to navigate this year trapped in that one hour. If I were you, another instructional. I've been saying like a broken record from Sunday, Wednesday. How many have done it? You pick and choose. Keep on picking and choosing. But they come like sometimes like little just joking instructions. <laughs> it's risky to pick and choose. Read your Bible. We live in the era of error. The only way to escape error is to know the truth. Read it. Read it. Have, have a daily diet of reading and praying. We forgot our Sunday school song in kindergarten. Read your Bible, pray every day. But it's key for a healthy, robust spiritual life. You can't be too busy for the world. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. The devil, the devil. Hey, come on, have you seen what the sons of Skiva did? Oh boy. Is that Paul we know? Just know who you be. You sorcerer. Do you know, sir? It's okay. Welcome back home. There is a way you walk with God by way of traffic. Say we may traffic. traffic. You traffic with the heavens. Your voice is noted and known in the heavens. By the way, let me be vulnerable. I slept. No, what time I slept? But I had an amazing dream that. I wish I stayed there. It was glorious. Kondaya, Gabriel, honestly, I wish I stayed there. It was glorious. What I saw, where I saw myself, what God was doing in the dream. I said, Kano Magaga, let me stay here. Glorious. Glorious. I saw myself, another man in the spirit. I mean, glorious. Let's just get back to me now, right now. But you know what? There's traffic. So there's traffic. If you are sensitive to know, there's traffic. Angelic traffic. Monday online traffic. Tuesday corporate prayer here traffic. Wednesday traffic. Thursday online traffic. Friday traffic. For those who are sensitive and are not coming to show their clothes or show I'm market, I I I I clock in five a.m. Clock your life. Your spirit doesn't clock in. You're clocking for who? For me to see. Clock your life. There's traffic. Guess what? The demon said, Jesus, my Lord, your Messiah. I know. Then called a human being like me and like you. Paul. Sir, I know. Who are you? Who are you, sir? Who are you? Which angel knows you? Which one can you summon in the name of the Lord by the blood? And they will attend to your voice because they, they know is the word mixed with your own voice. There is a dimension of your traffic with heaven. Listen, sir, I'm not there. I'm walking towards it where your word will be fused with his word. You will say like Elijah, this heaven will not open except by my word. 
Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Woman, say, Lord, I want to get there. Pray where you are. Pray like a prayer. Come on, clap your hands and pray. Let's pray. I want to get there. Let my voice be known in the heavens. Come on, Roger. Home and abroad. Pray like a prayer. Pray like a prayer. Oh Lord, take me there. I want to ascend. I want to ascend in the spirit. Who shall ascend? He will clean hands and a pure heart. Who shall abide? I want to ascend. I cleanse myself by the blood. I wash my hand by the blood. I want to ascend in this spirit, in this year. Let me not be beggarly anymore. I want to ascend. I want to ascend. Let my voice gain recognition. Let me be known before the heavens. Echo Baraka, that I may know you and make you known to my generation. Oh Lord, you said, I and my children shall be for signs and wonders. I want to ascend in prayer, in the word. This year, grant me the discipline to study my Bible and to pray. Let me become another man, another woman under God. 30 more seconds, prayer like a prayer. Believe what you're saying. Somebody's ascending. You're climbing ladders. Echo Marata. Epara. Let the angels take you by the hand. Ascend. Grace to grace. Glory to glory. Far beyond principalities, powers, dominion, and might. Somebody's ascending where you belong on the right hand of the Father. Ten more seconds, pray like a prayer. Lebe, lebe, lebe. Be able and get the blood. By the blood again access. Echo Malaga. By the blood again access. In the name of God. Not by my power. Not by my power. By the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. By the blood. Again access. Again access. Heights. Heights. Zenith. Glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This year, no be the same. Bam, 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 bam. Last year, gago. Okay. Last year is gone. It's gone. It's gone. A new season. New demands. New demands. Hallelujah. Saints, hmm. don't let Satan make you carelessly exempt yourself from what could easily be please listen carefully your best year ever don't let him carelessly look at how we are we're packed wednesday well let me believe god you come on wednesday uh, am i correct so we can be packed like this but usually for the past few months half of this church if we show up on wednesday Oh no, it's wrong. You miss an amazing time of teachings, word, prayer, impartation, worship. Because your important self is doing something that you think is more important than chasing God, chasing money. For one and a half, two hours on a Wednesday. Let this year change. You're missing traffic. Oh, please, by the way, uh, when it's time to be in church don't come 30 minutes late it's neither logical nor spiritual it's neither logical nor spiritual this church start when is announced we don't wait for you it is eight one person one million will start so you miss the train eight that you show up and then you're catching up you're catching the flow you're you begin to drag yourself hey where are we now huh? okay where are we where are we hey we've gone far <laughs> Ralph, you're laughing, eh? 830, you're coming, you're, you're looking, hey, where is it? You've lost, you've, 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 10 to 8, you're here. Prepare yourself like a soldier. <laughs> today, not today, Mbamba, I must get my own. We don't agree. I don't agree. I don't agree for devil. You go agree? I don't agree. Say it to anybody, I don't agree, I don't agree. This year, I don't agree. Hallelujah. Can somebody shout an amazing hallelujah? Can somebody shout a vitalized hallelujah? 
Can somebody shout a supersonic hallelujah? Can somebody shout a glorious hallelujah? Somebody shout a wonderful hallelujah? A terrific hallelujah. Now clap your hands once again. Come on, church. Give the devil a migraine. Drive fear. Drive anxiety. Drive worry. Drive depression. Far from your territory. Hallelujah. Sir, the devil likes quiet Christians. I don't know. Ah, 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 Hey, hey, hey. Shout at the devil. Right. Come on, come on. Can you jump on your feet and make some movement? You're not in the grave. Come on, come on. Jump like your pastor. Jump, jump, jump. Shake off despair, despondency, worry, depression, anxiety, panic. Come on. The shouting side is the winning side. Jesus, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's true. The Lord was right, sir. I piped, they didn't hear, they didn't dance. With all this, my waking you up. Somebody I don't know what to do you. If you're born again, are you alive? It make rejoice you. No matter what you die, you know die. I sympathize with you. Uncle, mommy, somebody died. I, I empathize. But boss, you're here, man. You're here. Boy, hey, guy, you're here. Let everything that has breath. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. 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 Are you alive? Can you shout? You are not in the grave. Fire. Please be seated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me, Lord. Let's push for a few more minutes and we'll rise to pray. Ah. Let me remind you don't let the devil <laughs> make you become careless to miss this amazing year that could and should be your best year so far. You see, a failure to pray now and build up spiritual capacity and power for the rest of the year will make you susceptible all right to the challenges and the test that are inevitable that you face in this year listen look 18 1 ANPC also Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always, always, always underscore to pray and not to turn coward, faint, lose heart and give up. So we see here that a life of consistent prayer gives you victory over the human tendency to be wary, to faint, and to tire. Listen carefully. It is only natural that every human being will be wary at some point or the other. Isaiah 40, 28 to 31. Even the youth, the young, they faint, they tire. That means even those who have a seemingly, seemingly, seemingly strong composition. When life puts pressure, they faint. All right? He says, they are a category of people, whether old or young, as long as they agree to obey the injunction. They that wait upon the Lord, huh? they what? Mount up with wings as of eagle. They run and are weary. They that wait. And we are waiting now in prayer, in fasting. Not because we don't have what to do. No, sir. We are deliberate to build up spiritual strength for the journey ahead. Ah, yeah. As you study the scriptures, there are many factors 
that help you to build spiritual strength. One is the word. Matthew 4, 4. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. So, what bread is to your body, the word is to your spirit man. But one other area we, we are zeroing in on now is the area of prayer. Hey, prayer is a formidable instrument to build up spiritual muscle, spiritual capacity. Bible declares in Proverbs 24 verse 10 that if you faint, you see the word faint again? Same, look 18 1. Pray faint. Pray faint. Proverbs for 24 10. If you faint in that day, there is a day of adversity. It comes to every man. But it's how prepared you are for that day that will determine whether it will be an advantage or to be an adversity. Whether it be an obstacle or what, a stepping stone to the next level. Hiya. So if you faint, and how do you faint? Look at it one. If you don't pray, you faint. So if you faint, you lack strength. In the day of adversity, it is also proof. It's a report card. You don't want to curse per se. It's a report card that you have not built up strength. Hi, Kubala Bolena. So your body can be strengthened oh boy which is wonderful but guess what your spirit man can be strengthened your spirit can be strong or weak depending on what you do with it <laughs> and if either is to be strong choose strength for your inner man you know why if your inner man is strong it will sustain any frailty in the outer man. Uh, am I correct? Am I correct? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. So a strong spirit of a man sustains him in his bodily infirmities. Don't let your spirit lose battery, lose charge. No. We're in our text, G120. Building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. We'll get there. We'll see the amazing blessings and wonder praying in the Spirit is to the New Testament saint. Look at the testimony of Jesus and we'll write to pray. How he built strength against the day of temptation you know the story look for one he went into a season of fasting and prayer he was driven by the spirit into the wilderness to be tested by the enemy on three count charge he gained the victory but see the result look for 14 ampc this will be our testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ at the end of 21 days of waiting and watching mark this if you do it sincerely it's your testimony amen then Jesus went back full and under the power. Hey, Kunegade. These are a result of prayer and fasting. Under the power of the Holy Spirit into Galilee. And the fame of him spread through the whole region round about. And his fame spread round about. He prayed. He fasted. He was tempted. He overcame. And he came out in power. Ah, yeah. And then his fame spread abroad. He was not self-advertising, sir. No, 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 no. You see... There, there are ways you traffic with God. You walk with him in prayer, in consecration. You see, these are things you do behind the scene. Your, your, your private life should be more powerful than your public life. But sometimes people are more powerful externally. Like the character. 
to maintain the outward power. We're told that on account of his time with his father, fast and pray, overcame. <laughs> he came out in power. Not just that. Said his fame spread abroad. Oh boy. Hmm. As you stay faithful in these days of waiting and watching, my good day get there. As you build up spiritual stamina, huh? You will come out in strength, with might, with power. But guess what? The fame of Jesus over your life, in particular, will be spread abroad. Your company will be announced abroad. Your home, family will be announced abroad. Your passport, whatever it is, your certificate, your document will be announced abroad. Doors that cannot be shut against you anymore. Why? You're coming out with power and the fame of Jesus in your life is being announced abroad. Rise on your feet for one minute on a prayer. Can you ask the Lord today for grace to pursue a deeper walk of prayer and the word? Very simple, but straight enough. It's a kind that you whisper, you cry out sincerely. Everyone in this room, including me, we all know we ought to pray better and more. I do. It's a confession. So ask the Lord, ask the Lord, the grace for a deeper, more intimate walk in prayer and the world. Can you pray? These prayers bring self-deliverance, cause lethargy and laziness. 10 minutes you're sleeping, it's error. 30 minutes you can't pray in tongues, it's error. Your desire to be a warrior a valiant man and woman ask God for grace Kadabo. husband's grace to become head indeed of your family spiritual lead prayer meeting counsel your children don't leave it to your wife only zimanok real men pray real men know their bible you cover your children open your mouth let it be real prayers. Lord, grace to deepen my prayer life. Oh, let me not deceive myself in these 21 days and come out the same. And life remains no more. God forbid and me forbid. Father, I pray for a deeper walk in prayer. Teach me how to pray. The one thing the disciple asked, Master, teach us how to pray. Can somebody ask Jesus, the head of the church, teach me how to pray? I'm in the house of prayer. GPP, I'm not joining. 11 p.m. Zoom, I'm not there. Teach me how to pray. Remember, my house is a house of prayer for all not a house of disco, not a house of excellence, house of music. House, no, 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 house of prayer. And you're here. Father, teach me how to pray. Let me not be left out of this train of revival. Let prayer become a desire, delight. Grant me the discipline of prayer. Balo Kada to pay the price and to pray the price for break for 2024. We're almost there. Ten more seconds. Push it now. Online. Cry out. Fire on my altar. Blow away the chaff. Blow away. Blow away. Balo the debris on my prayer altar. Blow away. Kumanaki Yajamanaka. I put wood, fresh wood on my altar. I lay sacrifice there that your fire may fall. Sacrifice of giving you my time, diligence, ekoba, mbrianto, that I'll pace up and down my room for one hour praying in tongues. Igrubaka, leke brigade, zuge brigade brigade gade, braga daboske teke 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 de. Father, thank you. Lord will give you praise in the name of Jesus. Will you lift your hands to Jesus as we all pray this prayer of surrender and we'll worship him. Declare me Heavenly Father, 
I didn't hear you. Heavenly Father, here I am in the company of the saints, surrendering this life you gave me. Lord Jesus, I present my body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you. Lord Jesus, forgive me for the many areas I've sinned, but in particular, this sin of prayerlessness with my heart i believe unto righteousness with my mouth i confess and declare that jesus christ is both my savior and my lord rule and reign over me my household all my endeavors from today in the name of jesus i decamp from the camp of the enemy i declare and declare Satan, by the blood sacrifice of Jesus, I severe myself from every form of connection with you. I severe myself with any form of connection with you. I am blood washed, blood bought, child of the living God. Have you not heard? Touch not the Lord's anointed. From today, I proclaim the touch not seal of Jehovah over my life. I am free from your antics, your tricks, your lies, and your devices. I rule and reign over you, over darkness, not in my name, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the Lamb, in Jesus' name. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Goodheart Obi Ekweme, lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the apostolic leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, HORM, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 0805-223-4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God. It will produce intimacy with His Spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.